What up YouTube, it's Michael again back on the allotment. Um, it's now Thursday, uh, the 31st I believe it is, or the 30th um, of May. I'm losing track of my days here. I uh, thought I'd pop up on the evening, try and get some of the glass and plastic off the greenhouse. Um, it's quite a nice evening tonight, so fingers crossed the weather holds out and we're we'll crack on and start getting all this all done. I will be doing when I put the new panels in but it's a bit of a pain to get them out as you can see uh, it's broke the top half with little bits of glass splinter so you have to be careful of that so we'll carry on I get all them bits out as I don't want to be cutting myself on them later. This is plastic there. This will come out a lot easier hopefully. Uh, that slice. Yep. Yeah. So give this a slice as well. And there we go. That's the first bit done. Gonna try and keep as much of this intact as I can. Um, as you can see, some of them's already got breaks and stuff in. Uh, but if I can clean up all the silicone and stuff as well, it means that it'll be a lot easier to fit my new stuff when I go to fit it. Uh, it does look like it'll come out pretty easily, to be honest. All this silicone might have to get a sharper blade and give it a bit more of a scrape. But it is all coming out. So over there, 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 we'll carry on getting these out. be able to give this on to someone else. One side's already off. Hopefully this side should come off a lot easier. Salvaged. 
not too sure what that is at the bottom but as you can see it's all silicone uh, it's been stuck on with it gets a bit tatty along the edges we're just gonna have to try and shave all these off so someone else could use these panels instead of just them going in a skip or going to waste somewhere Plastic, plastic, we're all gonna bugger that, have a bit of plastic. Uh, the rest of this is all plastic. This hopefully should come out quite easily because it's the plastic. But it does look like they've siliconed over sort of the little S brackets that you can get. What might make things a little bit harder. Satisfying sound. And there's another bit. This is quite thick actual perspex they've been using. Um, I'm not going to be using perspex this thick myself. Uh, I want to really use the thinner stuff if I can. It's easier to handle, and to be honest, it's a little bit cheaper when I buy it. So, so some of these are broken slightly already. Uh, the greenhouse wasn't in the best condition when I first got the, the plot, but it is a greenhouse, I can't complain. Another bit. I'm actually surprised how quick most of this is coming out. I was going to think it was going to be a bit of a pain, especially with the glass of panels. I am a bit concerned when I do the top, um, as some of these are complete sealed, some of them are like got the little S clips in, so I'll have to do it a bit at a time. But we'll get there. Another panel. That one I didn't even have to splice or do anything with. Um, as I said, this is an old greenhouse. The panels aren't the best, but it's a greenhouse. You can't complain. Um, you can pick quite a few of them up, free or cheap, second hand on places like Gumtree, Trade It, Facebook, stuff like that here in the UK um, but as I was lucky enough to have it already I don't have to go down that route um, as I don't drive really going to pick it up or trying to get it to the, the plot location could be a right pain unless it's local I can do it a bit at a time so I'm really glad this is already on the plot and we're going to hopefully get it looking as good as the shed does because um, I think I've done a good job with the shed but and I just realised I've left my radio on the roof and it's rained. Damn. It wasn't the best radio anyway. Um, it's just a solar powered little FM radio. Hopefully it still works. I'll go show you where it was in a minute guys and then hopefully grab it and it'll uh, still work. We'll do this last panel quickly. last panel on this side so just there that's my radio oh trying to do this while holding a tripod that's my radio that's actually been out in the rain for about two three days well 
two days, three days. Because the last time I was up, actually up here properly was Tuesday uh, on the last vlog. So I'll grab it now quickly and we'll see if it still worked. So, got the radio. Uh, it's giving me the little light symbol to say it needs charging. But let's just have a little listen. Yes. Uh, I have broke the aerial recently as well, so that doesn't really work. But it, it does kind of work. I'll have to see if I can get that working properly. Um, I'll get the rest of the roof off and then uh, we'll continue from there. I'm just going to reposition the camera a minute. Okay, so that's the camera repositioned. Uh, I just realised I haven't got a step ladder up here, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of a bodge. Um, fingers crossed I don't fall into the, the greenhouse and hurt myself. Using an old chair. So let's start on this first panel. Let's see how it goes. Just grab my knife again. And let's go for it. Being a bit of a pain this one, but it has come out. I'll try and open that window in there in a minute. One sec. I know that's holding that up very, very high. Uh, this might turn into a bit of a uh, dangerous situation. So hopefully it doesn't. And that is one complete solid panel. We've got twigs and stuff growing through it from where previous things have been in the greenhouse. That's getting a bit wobbly, so let's move that along. I'm going to try and take out the top two first as they're being held in by an S clamp. The panel is cracked and this is glass as well, so hopefully, I'm not going to hurt myself or smash it, but we'll have to see. One half. That's the second half. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, so that one's not salvageable. Might be a good idea to go on the inside and try and remove it from there with the silicone. Just 
just hope it doesn't fall on me. quite a bit of a pain. I don't want to smash the panel, but I don't think I know of any other way of getting it out. Um, if there's any of you in the comment section can think of a way of getting this out. Um, it's stuck in with just clear silicone by the looks of things, but it's stuck in there so well, if I pull on it, it can potentially smack on the handle. That bit can just slide out. Because this one's actually plastic again, or perspex, can just give it a little pull. And it's coming out really easy. Same with this last panel. The first place panel seems to come out a lot easier than the glass. Just got to try and reach up there now. Um, might be better if I go from the inside. So let's pick the knife and the chair and let's go inside. It's a bit wobbly. I'm going to do the window um, just because I haven't got anything high enough to stand on really to be able to uh, get up there and cut it so I might lower it back down have a quick look see if it slide out if I can reach it from here if not I think that'll be it for today I was going to stand up in here, don't know if you can really see me. Okay, so I was going to stand up in here, but just realised there's sharp glass here still. I don't want to cut myself, so I'm going to go through this window. Let's see if we can remove the window this way. So, off comes the little metal bits. And that's that first one gone. Bang. But that is everything. Don't know if I've cut my arm in the process though. As I did bring it down on top of the glass. That was lucky. The only one I've got left on this side to take out now is this glass panel. But for some reason, it's in there just a little bit too tight. I can 
potentially try and do it again from under here. That looks like it's that's our, that whole side done now. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to have to get a proper ladder if I want to be doing it properly and getting up there and without injuring in myself or anything like that. Um, I am going to have to get a probably sharper blade as well so I can just slice down these sides and get a lot of silicone off. It should pretty much come off with a standing knife blade. Uh, yeah, it does look like it. be a lot of silicone coming off it as a lot of it was glued in I am going to be looking to silicone it myself when I put it back in but I'm not going to use as much as this if I can help it and I will try and use like them s clips and stuff as well but without siliconing where the s clip is so I'd silicone up make sure there's an s clip silicone up again and then put it in so when I do remove them if I have to if they get broken or any or damage or anything I just have to slice the silicone undo the s clip and just pull it straight out make my life a lot easier so that'll be it for today's video guys i know it's only a short one but these are all new to me as well so if you want me to do it side by side like pan up side by side at a time um let me know or if you'd like me to do it all in one big time lapse to get all this glass and all the plastic and everything off it just let me know uh, I am going to have to either get an angle grinder or some WD-40 up here to try and loosen off some bolts so I can lift it off its concrete foundations. But that's it today guys, hope you enjoyed the video and see you again soon. Okay guys, uh, I know I just said goodbye and everything on the vlog but I'm on my way home from the allotment now and I've got a question to ask you guys really. Um, what type of videos do you actually prefer? I know I've only got like 8 subscribers at the moment and hopefully some other people have come across these videos along the way but do you prefer... 15, 20 minute videos, half an hour videos, maybe even five minute videos. Um, do you like the time lapses in them with a bit of the music and stuff like that? Is it, or if there's anything that you think that would help like panoramic shots, maybe a bit of B-roll or anything that would help the actual vlog, be great to know um, as this is all new to me. Um, I used to do gaming channels and that, but you don't do this talking to the camera as much. It's more just the gameplay and everything else. So it's still a learning curve for me. So if there's any advice you can give me, please let me know guys. And uh, that's it. So have a nice evening.